No way. This is crazy. Hello everyone and welcome to The Complete Christian. My name is Chidi. If you're new to the channel, please take out time to like, share, subscribe. You know what to do, so please do that. So in today's video, we're going over um, the Mike Todd video where he spits in his hand and rubbed it on a the face of a member of his church. Um, so I know a lot of people have done, a done videos on this topic. Um, some people have done videos in, you know, talking about the bad theology, you know, how he went too far on, in his, you know, sermon illustration. But in today's video, I'm talking about that actual illustration, how he put spit on the face of the guy, yeah? Is it a sign of spiritual abuse? Is it a sign of spiritual abuse? So to define uh, spiritual abuse, it, it can be defined as when a spiritual leader misuses his position or misuses scripture, right? Uh, for the exploitation of another member or someone who's below him in the church, you know. That's abusing them basically to your own personal gain because when you abuse someone, there's no gain to the person that is being abused. So before we go further, we just watched the video. In case you haven't watched it, have a look and see what you can make of it. And then after that, we come back and read it. Um, a few uh, verses of the scripture to um, conclude and 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 see what we can get from the scriptures about the whole thing. So let's let's have a look um, at the video. Changing something and you don't see it clearly yet, but you hit. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> and mean, this is where most people. I mean would not face Jesus anymore. What most people would do is turn away. I've watched this before, <laughs> but even now. Oh, oh, <clears throat> no, 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 no. What, what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you it's just as he's physically standing here, knowing what's coming. God's saying, can you physically and spiritually and emotionally be able to stand? When getting the vision or receiving it might get nasty. I'm going to say it in a point just like that. Receiving vision from God might get nasty. You mean... God, I just bought, in crazy faith, I just bought my dream car. And now you're going to ask me to sell it back and ride in the hoopty again? Yeah, because the vision I'm about to give you, it might get nasty. Oh. 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 And do you... Do you hear and see the responses of the people? No way. What I'm telling you? No way. No way. This is disgusting. What would make someone do this to another member, uh, another human being, in fact? You can't actually tell me that this guy can go out in public and do this to anybody, if not because he feels like this guy is under him. So to me, I believe this is spiritual abuse. You're abusing your authority. You're abusing your position. It doesn't make sense. Even if you think you want to copy what Christ did. I mean, I don't think he did it this way. It's not everything that Christ did that we have to do. It's not everything that is in the Bible that we have to do as Christians. Some things are descriptive in scripture it just tells a story of what happened 
doesn't it's not prescriptive it doesn't tell us that we have to do those things as christians to be honest man i blame i don't know i've I just, that guy is also to blame you can't let another man put put um his saliva spit and put it on your face I blame him because he's an adult. He can make up his mind to say, I'm not doing this. You know? And this is a lesson to all of us, whatever, wherever we find ourselves, a church, wherever. If someone is going out of what the Bible tells us to do, how the Bible asks us to act, if someone is trying to take advantage of us, to tell us to do things that are not scriptural, we have the right to say no. We can't let another person abuse us because we, we feel like he is a man of God. He's no better than you, man. He, the only thing is that he's God, maybe if, if this person is a true pastor, God called that person to lead and teach, but he's not better than you. We were all baptized into the same Holy Spirit, all baptized into the same Holy Spirit. No pastor is better than you. He's just privileged to serve. He's a servant of the church. No pastor is better than you. I don't care his popularity, his knowledge, success, whatever it is. No pastor is better than you. Crazy. I'm just, I'm just going to read a, a few, um, three verses from the Bible to um, show us why these things are happening and um, see what the Bible teaches us. So I'm reading from 2 Peter's. 2 Peter chapter 2, and I'm going to read three verses, which is 1, 2, and 3. So this is what it says about false teachers. Because I believe this guy, Mike Todd, is a false teacher. Because you can't tell me someone who is, truly saved working you know in in the, in the spirit of god would abuse someone like this and that's excluding different other heresies and different other things he has he has you know you know preached uh, from the pulpit but abusing someone you 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 have to think yourself too highly to to do this kind of thing to someone a brother in, someone who's supposed to be a brother in christ this is this is too much but let's let's see what the the um the, the bible says in second peter so this is second peter chapter two uh from one to three so uh, verse one says but there were also false prophets among the people just as there were there will be false teachers among among you they will secretly introduce seductive heresies even denying the sovereign lord who bought them bringing swift destruction on themselves okay let me stop there for now and point out something he says it says they introduce destructive heresies and even deny the sovereign lord who bought them so people who are false teachers false prophets people who abuse their position in church they introduce false doctrines they introduce heresies preach certain things stupid things um like you know Stephen Furtick I'm not in covenant with a political party I'm in covenant with God Almighty right so these are people who pretend to be christians who are who are in positions calling themselves pastors who are supposed to have been bought by christ but they show that they weren't actually bought by christ because they deny the sovereignty they deny the sovereign lord so christ has put them you know the ways to serve the ways to lead the ways to uh, worship all these things are laid down in the scriptures but they refuse to follow how christ has laid down for people to follow him 
how he has laid down for church to be done, how he has laid down for us, for pastors to serve the congregation. They refuse to follow it. They have clear doctrines in the Bible, but they don't follow it. They deny the sovereign Lord. So if the meaning of Lord is someone who is in charge of you, like you, you, you don't have your will anymore, it's only his will that, that, um, that um, has effect in your life. You can't actually decide for yourself. That's what a Lord means. Someone who is in charge of your life, who is sovereign in your life. You don't have any, any desire apart from serving this person. Right? So if Christ is your Lord, you do what he says. The Bible says, uh, Jesus says, if you love me, you keep my commandment. If I'm your Lord, you keep my commandment. But you see, these pastors, these false teachers, they don't keep his commandments because they do not belong to the lord now let's read uh, verse three so it says in their greed these teachers will exploit you with stories they have made up their condemnation has long been hanging over them and their destruction has not been sleeping god is going to judge them that's what he's saying they tell stories and use these stories to exploit their members. And that's why most of the modern churches, the pastors tell stories. They don't actually read a passage of scripture and verse by verse exegete the scripture, interpret and explain and teach those passages as they were revealed, how they were supposed to be understood. And that's why they just read one verse and then they're off to the races. Telling stories about themselves, what they've done here, what they've done there, what they've been, who they've been with, this, they've been with this president, they've been with this person. That's all they do, bragging about themselves, telling stories to exploit you, to affirm themselves so that you will you know, believe them. That's all they do. The Bible says that their destruction, their condemnation has long been hanging and their destruction has not been sleeping. God is going to judge them, if not in this time, in the age to come. So whoever you are listening to me, watching this video, don't let anyone who calls themselves a pastor to abuse you. You have a mind. You have to think. If anything looks off and it doesn't look like godly you don't have to participate doesn't matter who it is you do not have to participate you can say no you're an adult make up your mind and make up the mind for your children as well don't let them be abused by these people who call themselves pastors this is disgusting i mean even though he came out to apologize but it shouldn't even happen in the first place that's the point how can you get to that point it's not, it's not, it's, it's not on. So that's, that's, that's my message today. Don't let any, any past abuse. This is just um, spiritual abuse. This is just a fruit of the, 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 the tree talking about false teachers about Jesus says by their fruit, which is their doctrine and their behavior. We will know them. We will know where they belong. And this is just a fruit of it. Abusing someone, you know, to make an edgy and quirky illustri- you know, sermon illustration, which is even off point of what the Bible is even talking about. So don't let anyone um, abuse you, man. Don't let anyone abuse you. I don't even care who it is. I don't even joke with these people who call themselves pastors. If I, when I used to go to churches to play, if they mock about, I just leave out, leave and go outside. I don't care. If you're not doing something right, I don't care. I don't, I'm not there for, for you to touch me and do stupid stuff. Don't let anyone abuse you if you're a Christian. Make up your mind. Serve God, right? Learn the Bible. Read for yourself and see what these people are doing, whether it's, it's, it's scriptural at all. Anyway, that's the video for today. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section if you believe um, that this is spiritual abuse, like I say, or if you disagree, let me know as well in the comment section what you think 
Um, if you're not born again, please check out my video that I did in the description box. It's called The Gospel Explained. It's, it's going to explain the gospel, the mission of Christ, and uh, help you understand Christianity. So please watch that and get right with God. Um, like I always say, fear God and keep his commandments, for that is the whole duty of man. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. God bless you. Bye.